सो हे राहुल वेलकम टू कॉन्सेप्ट एंड कोडिंग Yeah, hi Shash. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. So, uh, guys, I'll just introduce you the Rahul, like how I know him. So, just I think couple of days before, I got a message from Rahul that uh, he got laid off and recently got uh, the opportunity with a new company. He got hired. Uh, he cracked it, and how the LLD has helped him and all. So that's how I got to know. I'll start our meeting, and I'll set up a first question to you, like. when you get to know that uh, you got laid off like were you already prepared before what were your mindset how you take this news up so what was the your reaction so just yeah so as uh, getting a layoff news is really heartbreaking as i'm working very hard in my current job and i was uh, performing top notch as per my manager as well so the 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 news which come in my mind that like, it was really heartbreaking and right. it was not at all uh, Uh, listen to right. get a uh, anyone can get heartbreak so it was not i was not preparing at all i was kind of uh, i was thinking like i would stay and work and grab some experience and then i will switch around so i have around uh, one year of experience that to includes in internship okay. and most of the companies that not allowed the internship part for the experience part so i have only 9 to 10 months of full time experience so i was bit concerned about that part as well because most of the companies hired uh, yeah. experienced people and i'm not nowhere a pressure and not a experienced people Experience. I'm okay. in the middle of that in the middle yeah. of that so think. yes so that was really uh, heartbreaking and i i thought let's like i initially i was really got uh, sad but i then got uh, my seniors very 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 helpful my manager itself he is very humble person he he, he himself Give me several referrals in other companies. Awesome, but man. yeah, yeah, he really uh, give that give me and my seniors as well. So they help me improving my resume. They help me like what are the keywords you should include, how the process comes in when you came across with the uh, experienced person. So one thing is like you are not totally prepared, and uh, when and you got the help from your ex managers plus seniors also, right? so i just wanted to know that okay once you have got to know that you are impacted so have you started uh, looking for the references and started preparation both together or you first went yes. with the references so what i was thinking like i am good in dsa i was uh, like i thought like i will cope up the dsa part i will do the dsa part in place and i will start giving the interviews as well because the problem was the opportunities are very less and the time is also concerning me because when you got laid off uh, you get a uh, pressure of time as well so Correct. the problem was uh, i was started with the dsa part i did a lead code uh, from the starting of that day like when i get started on, on that day only because i was really concerned about that part so i started five to six questions per day and per maintain day. a streak so was lead code so after that um, i started play uh, good enough but i was not aware of the ld part i was literally uh, no idea about how to what what they are going to ask what is design pattern i was really con- really really got confused about that because i was initially i was don't know what is the difference between ld and ld part both are i thought they both are something kind of same but when i got a an, uh, an interview round for ld and ajio itself so there are there they ask like they they don't ask the design pattern actually there there they actually ask me a data structure to mm-hmm. build around it and okay. the classes and objects so the, that i was uh, good enough so i i was able to do the code and i got uh, there and uh, apart from that how i can get the further opportunities is basically i uh, i applied on insta hire well found okay. um top hire i got opportunities from top hire as well as well but the problem was um uh, whether it is linkedin uh, easy apply the applicants were a lot huh. so if the opportunity opportunity came then also there might be chances my resume will be unseen correct there might be chances uh, so what i was uh, doing uh, i get the email addresses like their insta hire they have a uh, recruiter name as well there okay. company and the recruiter name okay. so what i did there is a there are apps which gives like the recruiter 
email address. Uh, yes, so I grabbed yes. that email addresses and I directly cold mail there. So I used very effectively that. So I get around twenty to twenty five uh, uh, revert back from them yeah, because I'm earlier I was that. not getting. Yeah, earlier I was not getting any opportunity by easy apply or something. If I did do their my resume was not getting noticed. So there, there I got like. You have to do some other way because you have thousands of employ uh, applicants and you have to move move upward. Without Correct. that, you cannot uh, get your application seen itself. So I was not uh, applying to the recruiters, but also to the hiring managers and uh, senior SDs. So then I use that mm -hmm. effectively. And as well, like whenever the job posting comes, I used to, uh, there is a person who is posting that. So I in need to send the connection. Yes, okay. yes, in LinkedIn, easy apply. There are there are chances that you get the posting like who posted that opportunity. Posting. So there I used to uh, contact the recruiter or I go to the hiring manager or someone yeah. from the team to so get a referral from them and then schedule a uh, interview. So I when I was uh, like prepared enough, I, I used to have three to four interviews a day. So that that was awesome. I used to keep in line. That so was, how many uh, interviews? Uh, how many job interview opportunity at least uh, you able to uh, got? Yeah. So I was able to got around fifty plus opportunities. Awesome, man. That to that to includes, but that to includes senior positions as well. Oh uh, no problem. Because uh, because two to three uh, year experience as well. Because they consider them. Sometimes the companies might consider like. Uh, maybe the candidate can perform, but uh, as uh, I'm not that much uh, capable of, so I was not able to clear it. But yeah, I was able to grab, grab the interview at least. Awesome, and man. that they helped. They helped a lot me to to get the preparation get well because I was I used to keep my notes as well. Whenever a question comes that I was not able to clear, I I have I have a dedicated notes. Uh, I clear. I wrote it down and answered as well. So I was able to do it. So couple of well. uh, things, uh, Rahul here. So Insta Hire helps you through this. Uh, uh, the tech which you told us that we well. can hack. I would say that it's a hack that take out a name, search it. It's a uh, you can yeah. say a way around. Another is uh, direct yeah. LinkedIn search and see the job who has posted it and reach out to them. That is a second way. Mm -hmm. And uh, the cold messages uh, you were sending, right? So, do you have any particular format for cold messages? Yes, I do have. I I have used Chat GPT and uh, like for creating the cold messages script. And I used to write like I have this this skill. I have I I want to write uh, like uh, I want to apply for this position. Please write uh, a template. Okay. So he awesome. used, I I used to trim it. I used to trim it, and according to my preferences, I basically use that. So, uh, would you like to share your cold message? Just removing your personal details, I will put it into yeah, the definitely. description or in the, or in the maybe yeah, in the uh, videos comment section. You can just put a cold yeah. message, uh, which might uh, okay. somebody get a hint that okay, like this, and they can work on it. So that's a uh, totally uh, okay. So with this itself, you are getting uh, so many opportunities. Then what about yeah. the resume? Like, is there any tweak you made into the resume to get your uh, yeah. resume short? So the problem was the recruiters don't know all the keywords. They knew the famous keywords. Mm -hmm. Like I was working around play framework that is similar to Spring Boot. Correct. But they don't know like but they don't know that Spring Boot work is same as play framework. So what I used to earlier I have like play framework as a keyword. So recruiter no. was not able to understand. I feel like yes, this is the problem. I have to remove it. I have I I wrote Spring Boot. And it gets shortlisted everywhere. Okay. So that's the point. I I used to get like initially ten to fifteen calls. Uh, I was rejected from the HR call system in the okay. phone screening round mm -hmm. because of that uh, keywords issues. Like I was also worked around the uh, data data engineering part as well. So I have wrote the several keywords there as well. So the recruiter thinks that uh, the person is only working around the data pipeline. He might not know the uh, Spring Boot and API. So when I thought that I have to lower this down, I have to push the things that I really want to work around. So I decrease the basically work around the data pipeline and I increase the like how the API works. So there I knew that 
whenever i go to the like i have read around 10 to 15s job job description i took that job description and get to know like yes rest api you have to write it you have yeah. to write the data structure and algorithms you have yeah. to write the design pattern now let's come to all the main uh, preparation part so like yeah. from your 3 months first of all you got a lot of opportunities why this much time like i i'm just thinking out loud right okay you got 50 opportunities for the interview why you took 50 i am just predicting that earlier your preparation might be not good that's why you lose so much opportunities later on you got a better opportunity and that's where you got it so where is the preparation gap how, how you uh, so, little your, your uh, journey yeah, there are two parts yeah there are two parts so uh, i used to apply on wellfound as well so the wellfound uh, angelist companies are very early startups hmm. and uh, they want uh, so they want some experienced people and they want people to build from scratch so that uh, experience part i don't have so okay. there i lagged every time so around 50 opportunities i used uh, I, if i rectify there are 20 opportunities that are uh, very early stage startup yeah, so uh, there i got uh, yes so there i uh, their expectations was uh, to build from that scratch where i was lagging so there i was not able to clear but uh, coming to the part where i get opportunities which i am not able to clear although i have to clear that so uh, the first uh, uh, in the first round i was like initially i got an opportunity for in the first month of the uh, layoff itself but uh, i was not aware of the uh, like i cleared the dsa round i i but the second round was lld round and there is something like then i went to the i also called you uh, you might not remember on top mate uh, itself i have a that's where sure i know that some your face is little bit i know yeah. that it's uh, we had a talk or not talk and you yes. know that uh, at night i was thinking like uh, okay rahul i don't know where i have seen him but it uh, face yeah. look very familiar Okay, now I got yeah. to know that maybe we had talk earlier. Okay, on top mate. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, we had a talk. So, um, so I was very, uh, very, very disappointed by like I cleared all the round, I did everything, but a lady round get um, distracted me. So that I was able to clear like the I used to make all the notes. I have uh, write all the a lady rounds of your like the low level design. All I cleared all the a uh, lady of your, and then I also. covered all your hld as well so hld part has been very I, i thought like i have to do it now i have to make all the notes and then i will go back and tell them so uh, there was an opportunity from uh, from a referral which manager my manager gave me so i was able to clear all the rounds and they are one of the questions basically which uh, you have already told me there there is a certain variation but i was able to clear the like concurrency part and they asked most of the things but uh, uh, um, uh, the low level design uh, which uh, you told me like we can do it through the synchronized keyword but the next word was how will you uh, distributed manner is a concurrency if the system is distributed so there i uh, there i was uh, able to clear it because i was uh, i was in depth how to solve the concurrency issue so i Correct. read all about it i got to uh, do that and and and, and uh, just to uh, pause it here also right so uh, mm-hmm. like rahul uh, we will can we also later on maybe in the next part of the video can we just uh, discuss on this concurrency part like any system like maybe for the viewers because uh, where the how exactly the db logs comes into the picture synchronized yeah. distribution and in the lld because this question does come how to handle the concurrency yeah. right so maybe yeah. uh, in the next video as soon as you are free we will just uh, discuss the concurrency part what how generally to handle it right so it's always good to learn yeah. from other learnings also right so uh, if you are okay to share that uh, yeah. like knowledge whatever you have learned through uh, we would be happy man thanks yeah so, so yeah. yeah yeah please continue man yeah so i did this opportunity cleared and then i was uh, in parallel i am giving a lot of interview as well as, as i mm-hmm. mentioned i used to have two to three interviews a day and in the night i used to uh, study like in the day i used to uh, what you what you used to study what you used to study dsa and lld yeah. only so most, uh, yeah lld and dsa and okay. spring boot as well because okay, spring, spring boot and microservices 
uh, sometimes and SLD as well. So okay. these three uh, things I used to study, and I used to have the recruiters uh, contact as well. So uh, I was in contact with my friends as well, and they are getting selected from various, or they are getting opportunity, or they get rejected. So I used to get all the number and used to note it down and learning from others directly. Okay. Yes, I used to call them. Uh, yeah. directly so uh, sometimes i got like uh, why you are calling and that but again i i need to get the opportunity and i can listen that so yeah. i do and i get opportunity from there as well a few opportunities that recruiters agree and yes we will be continuing your uh, uh, interview so these are these three things i used to do and uh, the part which was which i was lagging uh, is spring boot as well Okay. So that I, uh, yeah, so that I learned uh, a lot. Like I used to go and uh, make notes, how dependency injection works, how everything, how, how IOC containers work. So that part I. When the layoff happened, right, they start doing like for each job opportunity, there is a different requirement. So what generally happened is mm -hmm. engineer diversified its scope too much sure. that, okay, they are asking Python, let's run Python. They are asking this, let's learn this. Right. So ultimately what happened is uh, they get too much over pressure. They have so much yeah. in their bucket. They don't know what to do. Right. Uh, thank you to, uh, thank you. Thank you to you. Actually, I asked this doubt to you and you said you can start with one uh, framework and continue doing that only because I asked you like there are various opportunities and they are asking me different skill sets. So you said like you can uh, stick to one spring boot because everyone uh, like most of the engineers is still learning and you can uh, stuck with that and prepare well that. So thanks to you for that. I stuck with that. I used to basically uh, do uh, the job profile which matches me. I used to uh, stuck with that. I, I'm not going to change it. So that's why I, I always used to say like I cannot, I'm working on this and I am open to learn, but I, I'm not uh, uh, well aware of the tech stack. And uh, yeah, maybe after this video, if some of the engineers might reach out to you, maybe in your free time, yeah. if you can at least guide them uh, that uh, where they can get a good opportunity there, I think that would be a good help, man. So yeah, I will put exactly. your LinkedIn profile in the description if you're okay. And uh, yeah. might be some engineers who can reach out to you for the help. Uh, would be really appreciated, yeah. man. Maybe in your free time, if you can at least provide certain yeah, information. Sure. Hope yeah. you're okay with that, right? Providing your LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah. So, Definitely. Sure, sure. I'll add the template as well. Yeah, template in the comment section. If you can post the your uh, the template with your cold messaging, that yeah. would be really helpful. Man. Hey, thanks a lot. That's yeah. pretty much information uh, we wanted to have a high level roadmap, and I think you have given us uh, most uh, proper roadmap, man. Thanks a lot, Rahul, and a very very congratulations to you and happy for you, man.